This is the C-5 Super Galaxy, the largest aircraft in the U.S. Air Force. This aircraft weighs up to 840,000 pounds, and it is so big that it stands taller than a six-story building, can carry up to six helicopters, multiple army tanks, and even a NASA satellite. To accommodate its weight, this aircraft comes handy with five sets of special landing gear. Now, this aircraft has been given a very special nickname by the men and women who maintain it, Fred, effing ridiculous economic environmental disaster. And the reason for this name is not far-fetched. The C-5 requires tons of fuel to run and an operational cost of $100,000 per hour. But why exactly does the U.S. Air Force need the services of a supposed disastrous technology like this? See, the C-5 Galaxy project began with one specific need. The Air Force wanted a transport aircraft capable of carrying all the equipment needed for a U.S. Army division halfway across the globe. At the time, the U.S. Army already had large transports like the C-130 Hercules and the C-141 Starlifter, but there was one problem. They couldn't handle the most important item, the new M60 main battle tank. To deal with this challenge, the Air Force initiated the CXLHS project, aiming for a super heavy transport plane capable of carrying 100,000 pounds over 4,500 nautical miles at 440 knots. They started looking into this and came up with a design called CX-4, but it got rejected because it wasn't seen as a big improvement over the C-141. Then they came up with the CXX design in late 1963, which had four engines instead of six like the CX-4. This new design could carry a lot. It weighed 550,000 pounds, could hold a payload of 180,000 pounds, and flew at a speed of around 500 miles per hour. The cargo compartment was pretty spacious too, with front and rear doors for access. But the Air Force figured out that they needed high-bypass turbofan engines for the plane to meet their power and fuel efficiency needs, and so they officially requested proposals for a new plane design in 1964. Boeing, Douglas, and Lockheed competed for the contract. After six months, Lockheed won the contract to build 58 cargo planes at a cost of $258 million per plane in today's value. The journey of the C-5 Super Galaxy officially began in 1965 when Lockheed's design was chosen. Now, what made the C-5 special were its innovative features, something not often seen in cargo planes of that era. It had a high wing design and used four turbofan engines, which gave it an impressive lifting capacity. The C-5A was designed to carry up to 250,000 pounds over 3,200 miles without refueling. With a payload of 100,000 pounds, it could fly 5,300 miles. This allowed flights from Dover Air Force Base in Delaware to Torrijon Air Base in Spain, or from Travis Air Force Base in California to Yokota Air Base in Japan. The first C-5A Galaxy with serial number 66-8303 came out of the manufacturing plant in Marietta, Georgia on March 2, 1968. Flight testing started on June 30, 1968, during which they discovered a lot of things were wrong with this new plane. The C-5A program ran into many problems, including going over budget and technical issues such as wing failure and weight problems. The program ended up costing much more than expected, and Lockheed, the company building the planes, faced financial difficulties. They even had to stop production for a while in 1971 the U.S. government had to give loans to Lockheed to keep them afloat. However, starting in 1998, the avionics modernization program kicked off to update the C-5's avionics. They installed a new glass cockpit, updated navigational equipment, and a better autopilot system. Alongside this, they also started the reliability enhancement and re-engining program, which aimed to swap out the old engines for newer, more powerful ones. Under the RERP, they planned to modernize a total of 52 C-5s, which included 49 B models, two C models, and one A model aircraft. This involved more than 70 changes and upgrades, with the highlight being the installation of the newer General Electric engines. Initially, three C-5s underwent RERP for testing purposes. Production kicked off slowly in August of 2009 and reached full swing by May of 2011. 
by August 2014, they had completed 22 C5 Super Galaxies. Now, the design of the upgraded C5 Super Galaxy is nothing like you have ever seen. The C5 Super Galaxy measures 75.53 meters long, 19.84 meters tall, and a high wingspan of 67.91 meters, and a tall T-tail fin at the back. The C5 Galaxy's long, high wingspan gives it strong lifting power at low speeds and enables short takeoffs and landings. It can handle weights ranging from 400,000 pounds for normal use to a maximum takeoff weight of 840,000 pounds. It can carry up to 332,499 pounds of fuel and 285,000 pounds of cargo. When fully loaded, the C5 needs about 8,202 feet to take off and 4,921 feet to land. For the purpose of stable landings, it comes with five sets of landing gear with a total of 28 wheels. These gears have shock absorbers made by Bendix, wheels from Goodrich, carbon disc brakes, and anti-skid units from Hydro Air. The tires from Goodrich can be deflated during flight to match the landing conditions at the destination airport. There are four main landing gear units set up in pairs. Each unit has a six-wheel bogey with two wheels in front and four behind the shock absorber. These main units retract inward by 90 degrees using a hydraulic gear system. The front landing gear has four wheels and is equipped with sturdy hydraulic ball screw units to retract backward. It can turn up to 120 degrees in the front, giving a ground turning radius of about 72.51 feet around the nose wheel and about 171 feet around the wingtip. Its main landing gear is designed for high flotation, spreading the weight across 28 wheels for use on different surfaces. The rear gear can swerve to make tighter turns and rotates 90 degrees after takeoff before being tucked away. Powered by four GE CF6 80C2 turbofan engines, each producing 50,580 pounds of thrust, it meets noise and emission standards, providing more thrust and better climbing ability. The engine is equipped with an air inlet particle separator, which spins the incoming air quickly to separate out sand, dust, and other particles that might harm the engine. And as a plus, the heat generated by its engines is used to melt the ice and snow on airport runways, making aircraft movement faster and safer. Fuel is stored in 12 internal tanks located between the front and back spars in the wings, with a total capacity of 193,624 liters. For refueling, there are four points, two on each side in the front part of the main landing gear pods. For in-flight refueling, the plane can link up with KC-135 and KC-10 tankers. The refueling receive unit is positioned in the upper front area of the fuselage above the flight engineer station. Its layout is similar to the smaller C-141 Starlifter, with 12 internal wing tanks and the capability for aerial refueling. Flying at a cruise speed of 0.77 Mach, it can travel about 4,800 nautical miles with a 120,018 pounds of cargo or up to 7,000 nautical miles without any cargo. Its cockpit is advanced with communication, navigation, and surveillance systems, as well as an autopilot and flight management system for safe flying. The crew gets data link capabilities with situational awareness displays for better flight performance and awareness. Clearly, taking care of an aircraft like this is certainly not a day's work, but we'll get to that later in the video. For now, let's take a look at what's inside the C-5 Super Galaxy and how much it can take at a go. Think of the C5 Galaxy as a giant warehouse, capable of transporting a fully equipped military unit ready for combat or delivering essential supplies anywhere in the world they're needed. Inside, the cargo compartment is really spacious, measuring 121 feet long, 14 feet high, and 19 meters wide, with a volume of over 31,077 cubic feet. To help you understand how massive this is, the cargo compartment of a regular commercial airplane, such as a Boeing 737 or an Airbus A320, typically ranges from about 5 to 8 feet high, 10 to 15 feet wide, and about 500 to 2,000 cubic feet in volume, depending on the specific model and layout. The C-5 Galaxy can transport almost any kind of military gear, even big ones like the Army's Armored Vehicle Launched Bridge, 
weighing up to 67 metric tons to anywhere in the world from the United States. Plus, it's spacious enough to fit up to six Boeing AH-64 Apache helicopters or five Bradley fighting vehicles all at once. Now, loading and unloading cargo from the Galaxy is simpler than you might think. The C-5's unique hinged nose can lift up over the cockpit, giving full access to the cargo area, which is nicknamed the Knight's Visor. At the back of the plane, there's a ramp that allows vehicles to be driven straight onto the aircraft by ground crew. These vehicles are then secured to prevent shifting during flight. There's also a neat feature called kneeling landing gear that lowers the plane when it's parked, bringing the cargo deck down to truck bed height for easier loading and unloading. Interestingly, it has a cargo deck that's longer than the entire Wright Brothers' first flight at Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Despite being really large, the plane has a small crew consisting of a pilot, co-pilot, two flight engineers, and three loadmasters. However, it often carries multiple crews and can accommodate up to 15 relief crew members because it can travel up to 7,000 miles without refueling. Above that, there's an upper deck for flying operations and seating for 80 passengers, who sit facing the rear unlike on regular planes, along with the crew facing forward. Now, how exactly is this massive aircraft maintained? The Super Galaxy is maintained by a team of specialists. This includes crew chiefs and airmen with expertise in various areas such as instrument and flight control maintenance, communications, hydraulics, propulsion, fuels, electrical systems, environmental systems, and aerodynamic repair and changing tires. Now, changing a tire on a C5 is a whole lot of work. The tire is roughly four feet tall and may need five people to position and attach it using a large spanner wrench to tighten the fastener. With each landing, the tire wears down about 0.002 inches, leading to frequent changes every 120 to 400 landings. The crew chief makes use of technical data to diagnose and solve maintenance issues and troubleshoot aircraft systems. Crew chiefs also supervise and perform inspections, interpret findings, and ensure corrective actions are taken. Speaking of the use of technical data, this approach makes the use of algorithms to predict repair needs before a part breaks in order to reduce maintenance delays. Over 100 algorithms have been implemented to help discover maintenance trends, with the Air Force taking 3 to 18 months to validate and optimize each one. For example, the C-5 maintainers can send fuel migration reports which help identify aircraft needing inspection for fuel leaks, reducing accidents and maintenance time. This process also helps maintainers identify unusual behavior in specific aircraft parts, like a valve in the engine bleed air system. This allows them to fix the issue during depot maintenance before the aircraft goes back into service. By addressing potential problems early, it reduces the chances of the valve breaking later and needing repairs which could ground the aircraft. But we doubt that there's anything that could ever ground this aircraft. Despite being used primarily for military purposes, the C-5 Galaxy remains strong even 50 years after its first flight, with 56 C-5s still flying. Many of these planes have been upgraded to a much better standard, with improvements like new engines for more power and efficiency, as well as modern features such as advanced cockpit displays and navigation systems. The C-5 Super Galaxy is expected to stay in service until at least 2040, and who knows, it might even surpass our expectations and stick around for way longer. If you enjoyed our video, join our membership, Paper Pilot Club, to support us. You'll get monthly custom paper airplane designs, early access to our videos, and exclusive member badges to stand out in the comments. Click join now and be a part of the adventure today!